So I, what I did is I picked. I don't always get to pick and choose when I'm going to work on something. That represents a lot right there, believe it or not. What you saw there, I'm condensing. Don't pay any attention to any numbers you see. Okay. Those are, those are for me, whether or not we do a deal or not. If we do, then they don't mean anything to me. Uh, I, what I've tried to do is, however you guys want, if you guys, I'm going to be working on that side. I hope you don't mind, but no, I'm going to be interfering with you guys. There's another light I can bring right in here or put you guys, if you want to be on that over there, wherever you guys want to locate, I'm going to be working on um, getting some more of these boxes of that were in the collection. There's okay. no way I can get just what you saw completed today. Okay. But you're going to get, if my understanding is correct, I just want to make sure. Sure. You're going to go through and then calculate your numbers. Right. Put one price down. And you're going to hand it to me, and I said, yes or no? Pretty much. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is, this is the stuff that, um, the things that you saw, like the Carsons and stuff like that. Right. Mainly, almost all Morgans right now. Uh, over here are the things I'm, I'm going to be working on. I'm working, like, value down. Okay. Because I, I watch your videos enough to know that, you guys like the fiddle Gentlemen. and all Howdy. this kind of stuff. Uh -huh. I'm glad by the way. Nice to meet you. This yeah. is yeah. 90. Casey. Hey. 90 years old. Jason. Hey, Jason. 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 Good, you know? Jason. Yeah. yeah. It might as well be. It okay. Okay. Well, so now you got I'm a Casey, right? Hey, yeah. hey, hey you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, you. Yeah. Yeah. The tall one. Tall guy. Yeah. Um, when it comes to a pricing. pricing. Right. But my whole frame of mind is, first of all, uh, I don't, I don't need to sell. But it's not that I, 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 not a, I, 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 I personally, logistic. yeah, I personally don't need to buy either. So yeah, it's exactly. not the right price, I can't speak so. for y'all, yeah. but you need inventory for the right to price. Be in and if yeah. I was in your shoes, I'd be out there doing what you're doing, right? Because it looks so much fun. Yeah. And you were right. You lose so much in traveling if you're not paying attention to God's nature around you. But um, like I said, also having here are some graded, um, I, I didn't have any of them out there, although I have some, but I have some better, like um, some of your uh, Seed of Liberties, uh, uh, Trade Dollars, okay. um, things like that in there. If those are things of interest to you. Uh, but that could be another time yeah. for interest of time, you know. So tell me what y'all's expectations of me today are. Not really. Other just, than uh, just leave you alone. Yeah, so we're just going to price up everything that we see, and mm -hmm. then, like I said, we'll just find a number for you. If it's something that doesn't work, then that's fine. Like I said, you don't need to sell, but I don't also need to buy. It's right, not worth right, it, right, right. Because it's just because of all the stuff that goes into it, you know, just buying it from you, driving, then we have to process it, reprice it, photo it, ship it, input it, all that stuff. So, yeah, like I can price everything up, let you know what it is, and just give you a number, you know. That's yeah, it. Uh, and... And I, I thought about that when I was doing this and the reason what you're saying to me right now. Uh, I didn't want you guys to have to make a trip across the street if I didn't think there could be a deal done. And to be honest with you, not because of favoritism or anything, but because I know where you're kind of coming from. I, I have to take, if any deal we come up with today, I'm going to let you know I'm taking a loss somewhat of a loss yeah but sometimes you have to take a loss it's part of doing business you know what i mean right yeah and so um you know uh, that's always in my mind because i i have other things and other that you know maybe i'm stuck on like in my collecting maybe i'm just stuck in a place i don't even want to be because that's not the direction i was wanting to go right my kind of got me going down the ancient direction. That was a cool, but that's not where I was wanting to go. And before I knew it, I was thousands of dollars deep on. in I, coins. Yeah. It'd be a good show for you. You know, I liked your one too uh, on, um, you know, coins that are like, uh, I lack a term, stuck. You know, you're, they're no longer a red penny. They're a brown penny, but they're still labeled as a red penny. Right. And so, you know, that kind of thing. They just don't want to get trapped in some coins or stuck in some coins. And sometimes when people buy stuff for a certain price, they're 
like uh, when someone buys a coin and it's like, man, you're you're most likely going to be stuck forever unless yeah, unless you hold it for twenty or thirty years. And I'm like, well, you know, that's that's and that's exactly how I feel about the ancient things. Now, right. one thing I absolutely love are raw coins. Now, I've got some raw Morgans that are just beautiful. Right. That's that's where I kind of probably go back and trade these guys that ancient stuff because they get the very best raw coins. Right. You know, and that's another day. So let me let you guys go. Get with it. I know y'all y'all need anything from me right now. No, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, we'll just look through those boxes and let you know when we're ready, I guess. And I, what I'll be doing is I'll be bringing another box over. Okay. If, and you tell me if, if this is what you're looking for. If not, I can always shift gears. Yeah, those those older type coins, if they're graded, we, we like those a lot. Like you're saying, the trade dollars and the seated stuff and the mm -hmm. standing liberty quarters and all that. And, you know, dollars are good too. Some of the more common dollars are a little bit tougher to kind of sell right now. I think we probably have 50 or 60 just common date Morgans. But like I said, we can price them up, talk about them, and, and let you know what yeah. our thoughts are. At so. Those kind of things, after the deal is done one way or another, I'll be more than happy to open up some of my stuff and say, okay. you know, if you may want to buy the the stuff you're talking about right there, or you may want to see the all my stuff is graded that you're seeing today. Your thoughts on these? So this is going to be SJ, YJ. a better date so leave that one separate I'd pull it out separate we'll just cross that out oh, 66 when we get there This is a more common date here. This is, did you pull out the other? The 66 is right there, it's right there. Okay, we'll work on that one. Yeah, so that's the same. And then we'll work on the other ones when it comes to it. So when you're looking at a coin like you are over there, right? A lot of times I'll see series coin. Um, That's fine. I'll just move up behind the full boxes. I'll just well, there's an open spot. Right. But the thing is, they need to. Twenty nine GSAs. They kind of, my family. Common dollars. Better good dollars. Junkie slabs. You can just back Crazy. Alrighty guys, so I just got home with Casey and it's absolutely incredible. All the stuff that we were able to purchase. We actually spent, so this is 
this is uh, Friday. We were actually at his house Wednesday and all yesterday. So from when I woke up at about 10 a.m. all the way to about 4.30 last night, I've been inputting coins. So that's how long it takes just to input the coins. Not to price the coins, not to list the coins, not to photo the coins, just to input them. Okay. So this is all the better stuff right here. I'm going to get a little bit closer, Casey, and just do a little pan. So we're going to show you guys a little bit more of the cooler things. This is actually the stuff we're going to send to CAC. This coin is, is not going to CAC. Um, but a lot of CC dollars, um, oh, 1882 proof set, uh, some tone coins, uh, very high end. Um, Carson cities like this, 83 CC and 67. There's a few 67 Carsons in there. There is some Kamems. There's about 150 uh, Morgan dollars that were common date. This is a 1882 proof um, trade dollar, proof 62 cameo, 1882 proof three cent nickel, 65. You know, just stuff like this. But let's show you guys a few other things on the other side here real quick. So we ended up buying 29 GSA Morgan dollars. I don't, sh not sure if there's any better dates in here, but a lot of common dates, you know, 64, 83 CC. Let me move and see real quick if I can find you guys a better date. A few of these boxes are in pretty rough shape. This is another 83 CC and 64. See real quick because I think there was some better dates in here. There's one that was my favorite, another 83 cc. I mean, it took us a long time. I think we drove, you know, drove a few hundred miles each way to get there 83 cc and 64 plus. But the client was a really great guy, so happy to be able to talk with him. The people that you want to work with on a daily basis 83 cc and 62 plus, um, 62 proof like, which is cool. Another 84 cc. I think I'm gonna find the one that I want at the very end, but that's okay. 82 cc 65. I apologize. Eighty cc and 63. Put that back in there soon. I think a few years ago we ended up buying. Um, some GSAs, I think we bought like 10 in one day, and I'm like, man, we are stretched for capital, dude. I, like a, I don't know what we're gonna do, and now we're buying 29 at a time, which is pretty crazy. So this is 84 CC and 65 proof like CAC. So that's one of the highlights for me of uh, the GSAs. So you buy them all and you get one, one or two cool ones to jump out at you. This one definitely is one of my favorites um, of the buy, but yeah, like I said, it's kind of crazy to see everything unfold and be able to buy so many coins and I don't know when we first started we were like how are we going to you know buy 10 coins so we can offer them to our customers now we're buying you know 350 coins every couple of weeks or 500 coins every couple of weeks and just the complexities and the interesting ways to adapt and understand how to proceed is uh is fascinating it's more of the business mindedness now than it is about I guess excitement to buy just one coin or two coins. It's mainly about how can we get these to our customers and how can we make it exciting for you guys to not like spend all the money that we spent, but get to come along for the ride and have a fun time. So let's show you guys some of these other coins. So here's a pretty interesting coin. This is a 1914 proof bar recorder and proof 66 CAC. So we actually didn't buy this in this deal. This one actually came from our friend Trent Schwartz. We ended up filming a few videos with him in the past, but this coin, uh, not very many in Proof 66, not many in CAC, and it has a really gorgeous cameo look to the coin. And stuff like this, when I see it in the mail, you have to pay a strong number for it, but I mean, putting this in someone's collection, being able to hold this every single day for you guys is, is something that we really are, are passionate about. When you come and take a look at some other things real quick, um, let me see here. So we had two red fields. So this 86S and this 89S red field holders. Pretty cool, interesting pieces. A lot of guys collect red field holders. Most of the time when you're buying collections, you're buying the modern PCGS, modern NGC holders. But sometimes you get to run into stuff like this. And uh, 
Yeah, like they're they're pretty expensive sometimes. They're double sheet, sometimes they're double retail for a normal holder. And like I said, there's a lot of complexities that go into each holder. People pay for plastic, people pay for a pedigree like Redfield. And uh, it's something that you guys can look out for at shows, kind of do your research on, and uh, you never know what you might find. Here's an 1839O uh, cap plus tap. So this is the only New Orleans Mint cap plus tap that there is. Um, and this one is graded XF40 by NGC. So you can see the mint mark right underneath uh, the cap bust and above the date, which is pretty cool. And uh, I don't know, it's uh, nothing that I would send to CAC personally. I think it just has some old cleaning to it, but it is a, a better date. And a coin, like I said, just doesn't come across our desk too often. There's other dealers out there that get a lot of these stuff in like this, but this one's pretty cool. We have a few seated dollars to show you guys. Um, some coins that might be hard to pick up on just because of the luster, but we have a 1870 proof seated dollar and proof 62. And then we have this 1860 mint state 63 seated dollar. Like I said, not the most attractive coins, but when you're sitting down with somebody and you're making them an offer, you know, sometimes you can't pay super strong for coins that don't have that eye appeal to them. You kind of have to pay uh, what makes sense to you, what makes sense to your customers. And these coins were kind of like that, which is the way it goes. Um, a little bit more to show you guys, a nice Civil War seated quarter. So this is an 1864 seated quarter, grade proof 61 cameo by NGC. So end of the Civil War, um, not the highest grade, but something that's cool and offering for somebody that doesn't want to spend crazy money on like 65 or 66 cameo. And uh, I thought this was neat enough to show you guys. Um, a few other cool coins here to show you. So we bought a bunch of CCs like I was talking to you guys about. And here's a pretty high grade one. Now we have this 1878 CC Morgan Dollar graded Mint State 66. Coins that get beat up very often. So when you're looking at most 78 CCs, they're graded in the 61 to 63 range. So getting one in 66 is an anomaly. It's crazy. Then we have this other CC Morgan Dollar. This is a 91 CC in 64. It's got some beautiful rainbow toning on the reverse. It was reverse mounted in the holder, and it has a little rim toning on the reverse as well. Cool true views to it. A coin you don't see very often with toning, so that's something to pick up on and enjoy. Then we have a really, really tough 1894P Morgan Dollar, grade AU58 by NGC. So this one, I think, is actually right over the amount of 93Ss that were made. So I think there's a few thousand more of these that were made in 94 at the Philadelphia Mint. So this is the second lowest mintage Morgan Dollar in AU58. And they're extremely, extremely expensive in Mint State. So an AU58 won't break the bank, but will put you in a different zone when it comes to coin collecting Morgan Dollars. And uh, here's the Holy Grail of, uh, of Carson Cities. This is the 89cc in XF45. Kind of an ugly looking coin, but buying an 89cc in XF, still great remaining luster, a better date for somebody that's looking for it, you know, trying to put it in a, in a, in a set that people really like and will be blown away by. The 89cc is pretty cool. So to buy great coins, you also have to buy coins that you're not super stoked about. And I'm going to be honest, okay? I used to be stoked when I bought a Mid-State 64 Morgan back a gray sheet. And uh, it was affordable, right? It was great. You know, I can make five bucks or something, sell it to a customer that's happy. And I'm still happy to do that, right? But there comes a time when you're really excited about the good stuff. You know, like the high grade, or the key dates, those really uh, catch your interest, you know? And there's sometimes, sometimes, okay? When uh, you get overloaded, come on this way, you get overloaded with stuff. Meaning, Right here is just common date Morgan dollars. These are actually just uh, you know a few type coins in here that are not significant, but these are all basically common date Morgan dollars or details coins. And like I said, it's great to buy one or two, you know, for a customer, sell it to a customer, and you know you used to be able to do that, but when now you're talking about 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Morgan dollars that are graded that are common date. Like it's uh, becomes a little bit crazy. So I don't know. I don't know what else to say other than it's just crazy to uh, conceptualize how many Morgan dollars are in front of us. And uh, so thank you guys for all the support recently with baby Aspen. If you guys want to continue to help out, make sure to check out the links below just to hear about her story and how you guys can help out the family that really needs you guys. And so let's show you guys a few more cool coins from this collection. We're going to do a little bit more affordable coins just to, uh, you know, get everybody excited. Sometimes you can't afford a $5,000 coin. You can only afford a coin, but that's like two or 300 bucks, but it's super cool, right? So I have a few older type coins here, these barber halves. So we ended up buying these really good looking coins. They are in the Anax labs, which is okay. But, you know, really original, a little bit of a better date, better condition, uh, but affordable to someone that's wanting to develop a barber half set. We bought this 1954 Proof Franklin and Proof 66 Cameo CAC. Has a little haze to the coin, but really nice kind of contrast between the devices and, uh, and the fields. We ended up buying a few fatty NGC holders with some mercury dimes. We have a mercury dime here with some toning. We also bought some OGHs uh, with mercury dimes in them like these. Just like, you know, neat little coins, pretty cool pieces. And we bought some Indian head scents as well. So an example would be this Indian head scent in 64 red brown and this 1903 and 63 red with some nice toning to it. This collector really knew what they were doing. They they were really excited about buying every single coin that kind of interests them. Um, sometimes it looks, from where you guys are standing, it looks a little bit more sporadic, but they really wanted to focus on Morgan's first looks like and then move into other series that were, you know, nothing that would break the bank, right? So affordable Indian head scents. Some were Barber Dimes, Barber Quarters. Um, here is a 1907 Barber Dime in 65 plus. Kind of a little bit of a darker coin, but really great and problem free. Hard to pick up probably with Casey, but that's okay. And for someone, um, you know, wanting to maybe become a coin dealer someday, you know, being able to handle coins like this and work with great clients is something that excites us every day. And so we ended up sitting down with him, I think for feels like seven or eight hours, just talking to him about what got him excited about coins and collecting silver and gold and a little bit of his backstory as well. You know, when you're uh, buying coins like this, you want to hear someone's heart behind why they collect and why they enjoy what they do. And so it was just an honor to be able to buy it from him and offer it to you guys. And so just a sneak peek of everything that we have and what we're going to be posting. So make sure to check out our website at kushcollectibles.com. Coins like these, we're probably going to offer just about what they're selling for and nothing more. And it keeps us going. It keeps us, you know, moving along and buying more collections to show you guys. So make sure to go check out AkushaCollectibles.com. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on everything that we showed you guys today. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.